This is the ultimate guide for Airbnb rental arbitrage. What is Airbnb arbitrage? Arbitrage is the process of buying something at one price and then selling it at a higher one. In the case of an Airbnb, this means finding a property that can be listed for rent at a lower rate than what you could potentially charge for it. By renting out a property in this way, you can earn profit while providing a service to people looking for a place to stay. So why do investors like arbitrage? The reason that uh, people like arbitrage so much is because it offers a low risk way to make some money. You're not taking on any debt by buying a property and you're not responsible for maintenance or upkeep. All you need to do is to find a property listed at a lower rate than what you could potentially charge for it and you can start earning money today. Is Airbnb rental arbitrage legal? Airbnb rental arbitrage is legal in many areas, but it's important to do your research first. Short-term rental laws are evolving in most large cities uh, across the country, so you really want to make sure short-term rentals are allowed in the area you are in. You may also need to apply for a hospitality license if you're planning on renting out your property uh, for the short periods of time that are deemed to be problematic by your town. How much can you earn with arbitrage? The amount you can earn with arbitrage will really depend on the property that you're renting and the area you are currently in. However, with any well-chosen property and a strategic pricing plan, uh, it's possible to earn two or three times what you spend on your monthly rent. For example, if your monthly rent is, say, $1,500, you could uh, list your property for rent at $350 per weekend. By renting out your property for 10 weekends, you would potentially earn $3,500 and this would cover your rent and leave you with an additional two grand to cover expenses and further grow your business. So now let's talk about the best property types for Airbnb arbitrage. The best property types for Airbnb arbitrage are those that are high in demand and have a low price point. Most hosts rent out apartments near popular tourist destinations and have their rentals in desirable locations, but even a well-appointed property in a major city can do you some major profits as well. While there are many different types of properties that you could rent out, it is important to choose one that has that high demand and that you can list at a competitive price. What are the risks of Airbnb arbitrage? While Airbnb arbitrage can be a great way to earn some money, there are some risks that you should consider. Uh, one of the biggest risks is that you could end up being stuck with an apartment that you cannot rent out. And this could happen if there's a change in the law or if the market for short-term rentals for some reason dries up. Also, not all landlords are open with letting you sublet your apartment in this way. So you should uh, check that out and make sure everyone's on the same page before you sign a lease. Another risk is that you could end up spending more money on your rental than you earn in rent. This could come from overspending. This could come from, from agreeing to rent out the space for too much money every month. So just make sure you do your research and budget carefully to avoid this. Possible problems with guests. While most guests will be respectful, there's always the potential for issues. You could end up with guests that are too loud or messy or damage your property. Just make sure you have a good screening process to avoid problems like this. Neighbor issues. There's also the potential for issues with those who live around the unit that you are renting out. They could complain about the noise, the disruption, or they could call the police if they don't know what you're doing and they just see a lot of strange people coming and going all the time with suitcases. <laughs> and this really comes down to being open and transparent with everyone around the unit and making sure that they're comfortable with what you're doing. Uh, another risk is that you could potentially lose money on your investment. And this could happen again if you're not able to find renters, if the short-term rental market is slow due to some unseen circumstance. So just make sure you do your research and you budget carefully to avoid any potential issues. There are a few different ways to find a property for Airbnb arbitrage. You can search online listings, you can contact a real estate agent, or even work with a property management company. 
Uh, some of the best ways to find a property is to search online listings and then contact the agent who specializes in that specific unit. This will allow you to see the property, ask direct questions about the unit, and maybe get some insight of whether the owner would be open to something like this. Further, if you just work with a real estate agent in general, it will allow you to see a wide variety of properties and you can better compare prices more easily. You can work with a property management company and find a suitable property. If you find one that's open to you subleasing in this way, they likely have a lot of units and you can grow your business more quick. Work with a landlord. If you're having trouble finding a property to rent, try contacting landlords directly and explaining what you're looking for. As we'll talk about shortly, sometimes landlords are not necessarily on board with this business model. Uh, however, you will find owners that are open-minded, but it's often for a cut of your profit, so just prepare yourself. So let's talk about landlords a little bit. Uh, do landlords like the arbitrage model. As I mentioned just a second ago, not all landlords are okay with you subleasing your apartment in this way. But it's always advised you do tell them up front and not try and sneak around or get away with something. A common follow-up question to that statement is how do I convince my landlord to let me list my apartment on a short-term rental site? Well, as our resident real estate professional here at MeshVisor, I will give you some tips so that you can better plead your case. First, promise that you will keep your unit in pristine condition. Explain that listing your unit in this manner will ensure they get on-time payments or you will continue to pay on time. And offer to amend your lease to include a rental arbitrage clause that will include things like who will take the fall and be responsible for any fines or penalties should something happen as a result of the actions of one of your guests. If liability insurance is needed and who would be paying for it? Probably you. How much of your profit you would be willing to share with your landlord? If you should give advance notice to your landlord about any guests and how you will communicate about it. And last, if you should pay an additional security deposit. Sometimes you just have to explain what arbitrage is to people. I think it's a rather new concept or it's new to people not directly in the short-term rental world. So just explain the process and how it's not as scary as it seems. And maybe they'll come around to the idea. So and now that we've gone over uh, how to find a property and the risks of Airbnb arbitrage, let's go over the steps of listing your property on something like Airbnb. First, choose a short-term rental platform. Uh, there are a few different platforms you can choose from, but Airbnb is, is the most popular. It's more of a household name. Once you choose your platform, you'll need to create a listing for your property. And this will include photos, a description, and your price. Enter your property's address, upload photos of the property, write a description for the property, and again, uh, set a, a price for your rental that's competitive. Set up house rules. Uh, these are guidelines that your guests follow while they're staying with you. And it just helps ensure that both they and you have positive experiences renting out this short-term rental. Some examples of what some of these rules are, are no smoking, no pets, no parties or events, check-in, check-out times, a limit of how many people can stay on the property at one time. Maybe you have an age limit. I know a lot of people don't allow local guests. You have to be an out of towner to stay with them. There are different pricing strategies to choose from, but the most common is to charge by the night. I know a lot of people charge less for longer stays, but that's something you'll have to decide for yourself once you see your market and do the math, see what will make you the most money. And finally, you'll need to figure out how to promote your listing. You can do this by creating a landing page, using social media, or even advertising in local publications. How to run a successful Airbnb rental arbitrage business. Uh, so let's conclude this video by talking about how to successfully run an Airbnb rental arbitrage business. Keep a close eye on uh, the bills and keep track of what you can and cannot take off of your taxes as your business begins to come to fruition. Some regular costs you will encounter include an application fee for uh, any permit or license that may be needed to operate, a deposit or a security deposit, first and last month's rent, those kinds of things, 
insurance, uh, possible legal fees, repairs on a property, furnishings and decorations, Wi-Fi, entertainment, subscriptions, things like Netflix, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus, things that your guests may want to have and enjoy while staying with you. Professional cleaning service, if you're not doing it yourself, utilities, uh, toiletries, and kitchenware. In addition to these costs, you will need to set aside money for emergency funds in case you get fewer bookings than expected in your first six months. The other great tip for running and managing your business in the long term is to keep optimizing your listing. Managing an Airbnb is not about listing and forgetting. Even after you start getting bookings, you have to make sure that your property shows up in search results. So make sure you take beautiful pictures and show off the amenities that your guests may enjoy while staying with you. Uh, try testing out one variable each week so you know which part of your listing is or is not working. So let's talk about how MashVisor can help. A tool like MashVisor can help you determine areas nationally where you may want to invest and it gives you analytics so you can make your choices based on the numbers and the math and the hard facts. For example, if you're looking in 2022, you could give these five cities a try according to MashVisor.com. Annapolis, Minnesota, Nashville, Tennessee, North Las Vegas, Nevada, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, and St. Paul, Minnesota. And if you want to do your own research, you can use MashVisor to analyze which neighborhoods and cities near you will be lucrative for rental investments. Search any city in the United States and you will not only find a list of properties for sale, but as I said, you'll also see a quick analysis of the metrics. Things like cash on cash return, average rental income, occupancy rate, optimal rental strategy for traditional and Airbnb investments, and even an investment payback section. All in all, it just is a wonderful tool to get you started and help you make a great buying choice. So check out MashVisor.com and you can get a free seven day trial by using the link in the description. My name is Michael. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.